Hello. So today I'm going to show you how to make old-fashioned lard soap. Um, I've gotten into soap making again. I used to do it 20 years ago and I really liked it. But um, they outlawed lye and I, you couldn't get it because the um, drug dealers were making meth out of it. So they outlawed it. And now you can get it again. Or maybe it's just because I've changed states and it's easier to get. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you today how to make lye soap. I've really gotten into lye soap baking again. I'll sh add some more of my videos of my fancier soaps that I've done. But today I'm going to show you how to make a, just a basic lye soap recipe. Just using 100% lard. And I will probably do other recipes. Um, my recipe that I use is olive oil, lard, coconut oil, castor oil, and avocado oil. That's the one that I use most of the time that I really like. But I really do like just a good old fashioned plain bar of lard soap. Um, this is what lard looks like. Just lard. You could use tallow is another thing. Um, lard is pig and tallow is beef. So this is what lard looks like. You don't have to buy it in a huge tub like this. You can buy it in little one pound blocks. Um, it's in by the shortening and the oils and that kind of thing. Um, I just found this at Walmart. Any grocery store has it. It's inexpensive, easy to find, so that's why I did that. Um, so for this recipe, I'm only using the lard for my oil. Now I'm using this drawer organizer for my mold this time. Um, and what I do is um, I use I use silicone molds like this. So if you happen to have a silicone mold, even if it's like a cupcake um, silicone mold or you know anything, um, then you can use a silicone mold and you do not have to line it. And the beauty about these is they just literally pop right out and it works really great. Um, but today I'm showing you how to use just whatever you have at home. It could be a box, it could be a milk jug, or this is an Epsom salt container. Just cut it down and you don't even have to line this. You can just pour it straight in here and then just peel it off if you want. Um, so to line your molds, just take a grocery sack with the print on the outside. You want the inside to have no printing because it will imprint on your um, soap if you do the ink side on your soap. So I'm just cutting down my bag here. And let's see. Oops, I didn't get a very good bag. There's holes all over it. Let's see. Hmm. Um, and then I just cut my bag open and then cut it down to fit. Ta-da. Push it in. Everything's in there. So that's my liner. Super, super simple. Then, of course, you'll notice I'm wearing gloves. You need to wear gloves, and if possible, long sleeves. It's hot, so I'm not wearing long sleeves today, but long sleeves is helpful for when you're first starting. And also wear goggles. Um, I have glasses, so I don't have any of the goggles that go over, and I should probably get a pair. Um, but have something protecting your eye and your hand. Now, um, I'm gonna demonstrate putting light on your skin so you can see what happens. But um, you don't wanna mess around with light. It is a caustic, substance and it will burn you but you know you don't have to be completely terrified of it either because it's not something that if you um, get it on you it's just gonna burn a hole in your skin like right away it, that's not gonna happen um, and I'll demonstrate for you in a little bit I'll put a little bit on my skin so you can demonstrate the other thing you need is a scale you can use any kind of scale, it doesn't matter, but really for the best soap, you want to weigh your soap. You also want a thermometer. A regular um, little thermometer will work. Um, I can't find mine right now, but a regular just candy thermometer will work. You want your oils to be about 120 degrees and your lye solution to be about 120 degrees at the same time. So you need some way to measure the temperature. If you don't have a way to measure the temperature, just leave both of them out 
overnight at room temperature and you can do it that way but really it's not the ideal way it's much better if you can if you can mix them um, when they're warm the other thing you need is um, which I forgot to get out is a hand blender um, this makes the process go a hundred times faster you can stir it by hand and it that's perfectly fine but it will take you about 30 to 45 minutes to hand stir it this will take you about five not even five to get started we're going to weigh out our water and our life first um, for this recipe I am using um, distilled water lye and lard you can find lye um, at your hardware store I'll put a picture up of what it looks like at the hardware store this I buy in bulk but um, at the hardware store it's drain cleaner so just look for 100% lye drain cleaner and it's between three and five dollars depending on where you live um, and I found it at smaller hardware stores like Ace or family hardware stores rather than large places like Lowe's they don't really carry it that much um, that I have found I'm going to put the recipe link in the description below. I'll have it on my website. Um, <clears throat> this one is, um, you can use plain tap water, but it's better if you use distilled water because tap water can have minerals in it that um, can mess up your soap. And <clears throat> that can just really be a big mess and you don't want to do that if possible. So. Um, I would say if you can use distilled water, use it. If you have pretty good water, then you could probably use tap water. If you live in a really hard um, water place, like we used to be, live in Texas in really, really hard water, I mean it wasn't even drinkable, then um, you will want to um, get distilled water for sure because all the minerals in there will mess up your your soap and make it slimy then you want to pour your lye solution into your water do not I repeat do not pour your water into your light you always 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 pour your lye into your water if you do pour it into your um, if you if you don't pour it with the lye going into the water, it can explode on you. Well, at least they say, I've never tried it. Um, and um, stir it right away, because otherwise it'll clump and get stuck on the bottom and you gotta break it up and all that, so stir it right away. It gets super hot right away. So you can see already, it is <coughs> 200 degrees. So it's super, super hot. I should have a hot pad on there. Now what I do is I set this on ice and let it cool down quicker and um, one other note this does stink really bad so you may want to do this outside or wear a mask if it bothers you and you can see those little bits of lye in there you can rinse that out and pour it down your bathroom sink and it'll eat up the hair um, I mean it's drain cleaner that's what lye is so you can clean your drains with this every time you make soap just rinse it out and um, put it in your drain. So I'm gonna get my ice bath water, or get my ice bath. Okay, so I got my water in my ice bath cooling, my lye water in my ice bath cooling, and um, it's already down to 190, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna measure out my <clears throat> lard. And for this recipe, I'm doing one and a half pounds, so I'm going to do 24 ounces of lard. And I've zeroed out my scale, so I can just pour it straight in there. And then most, re most soap recipes go by how many pounds of oil you use in the recipe. So for this one, I'm using one and a half pounds of oil which actually might be a little too much for my small mold here, but I will see. Let's see. Let me scoot this out so you can see a little bit better. I didn't realize. Oops.
Oops, wait a minute. What am I doing? I was going for two pounds because that's what I normally make. <laughs> Good grief. Wasn't even paying attention. No wonder it was looking like it was too much. <clears throat> okay, now we're there. All right, got my oil. Now, um, I'm going to melt this in the microwave and bring it to about 120 degrees and hopefully this will get cooled down in about that time. This takes about, I don't know, five or 10 minutes in an ice bath to cool down. Um, and it's already down to 120, 176 just in the two minutes that I've measured out my oil. So that's great, it's going quick. Be right back. Okay, so I have melted my lard in the microwave. It took me about three minutes. And in that same three minutes, my lye water has dropped down to 124. My oil is 118, and so that's perfect because you want your oils and your waters to be within 10 degrees, they say. I have no idea why. I haven't ever done it any other, different, any other way different, so I'm just going by what they say. But um, yeah, so. If you just get your oils and your waters within 10 degrees, so my oil is 116 now, and 126, so I'm within 10. So, slowly pour your lye into your water, and then just gently stir it. Kind of get it mixed up. Then, Take your stick blender and just blend it until it comes to trace. And trace is where when you lift up the stick blender you can see little dots staying on the top for just a couple of seconds or two. And that will um, happen really quick with these, with this um, oil and lye combination. <laughs> to trace which you can see the little dots staying in there but I'm gonna blend it just a little bit longer so it's just a little bit thicker <clears throat> are staying longer that's a thicker trace that's looking pretty good I might do just a tad more thick trace at all it's a light trace um, but for what I'm using it for I think that's great then if you want to put in essential oils you can put those in now um, I just have little bar little bottles like this that I use for my essential oils um, you could use fragrant oils also but um, it's about 0.3 ounces of essential oil per pound and about 0.7 average. It just depends on the oils and you'll have to look up when you buy them how much to use and also make sure they're skin safe when you buy them. Um, but that's the amount per pound. Then um, this one I am not putting in any essential oils. I'm gonna give it to mom and she has really sensitive skin so she doesn't like the oils in there. So then you just pour it into your mold like so and I probably could have mixed this a little bit longer but it doesn't really matter at all it'll get set up okay 
wow, I measured that better than I thought I did. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to wrap this whole thing in a towel and let it sit overnight. And then tomorrow we'll come back and cut it. So just wrap it up like this with the towel. You can use a heavier towel if you want. Um, but then just put it out of the way and let it set overnight. So I will come back and um, tomorrow and cut it and we can see what a perfect bar of homemade live soap looks like. I forgot to um, demonstrate before I leave what happens if you get lye on yourself. So I'm just going to put it on my hand here. So you can see nothing really happens like right away. It'll start burning and you can feel it. So just wash your hand with water and soap and then flush it with water really well and then nothing will happen. Of course you don't want to you know get it in your eyes or anything but I just wanted to demonstrate this so that you can see your skin's just not like gonna melt off or anything like that. So anyway if you get lye solution or the unspotified um, soap on yourself just don't panic just go wash it off and you'll be fine so I'll be back tomorrow to cut it okay one other tip um, that I wanted to share while I was cleaning up see how there's a tiny bit at the bottom left of the lye um, of the soap solution um, <clears throat> the lye in here is oven cleaner that is what oven cleaner is made out of is 100% lye go look at your can and you'll see that but what you can do with this is you can spread it on the top of your cook stove so that if it's really nasty, you just spread this on there, leave it for 30 minutes or an hour, and then clean this up and it will shine. I mean, it will just be gorgeous. So um, this can help clean up your stove really easy. So don't let this go to waste. Put it on your glass or ceramic stove top and it will um, get it cleaned up right away for you. Okay, so I'm back. I got my mold covered, and um, normally I put a shoe box over the top of my soap because you can see here my towel fell in a little bit. Um, but I ran out of shoe boxes because I was making some other soaps. That's what I wanted to show you. Aren't those pretty? That's my cherry berry. Um, and I love it. it. Smells great, looks great. I was really happy with it. So just take your towel off. Pull your soap out of your mold. Then you'll have a great big bar like this. Then you can just cut it in whatever size bars you want. So I'm gonna do mm, about this size. I'm not sure how evenly I'll be able to cut these. Oh, nice. Okay, and then now that's a good size bar. I like that bar. I think mom will really like it. She likes the smaller bars and I don't blame her. It is easier to hold in your hand. So then, just cut your bars. And you've got your homemade lye soap. Now I didn't cut these very even. I can already see I'm going to have an end piece, but that's all right. Just make it smaller. Whoops, didn't do that right. Let's see. Probably somewhere around there. <clears throat> then you can save this and use it in the bathroom, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it in half again and I'll use this in the bathroom. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a cold. And then all these little pieces you can save and use for laundry soap. Um, if you make a lot of soap, you'll get a lot of them. But um, I let this set in the basement on a wire rack, but you don't have to. You can put it in a cardboard box or whatever. But um, for about four to six weeks, let it set up, cure, and then... Um, it will be ready in about four to six weeks and then you have homemade 
lye soap. Old fashioned, just like grandma used to make, except a whole lot easier. You don't have to stand over a hot stove. And um, <clears throat> you know what's in it. And I love it, mom loves it. My whole family really likes it. Um, my uncle used to buy it all the time um, because he just loved it so much. But now my cousin and I make it so he can get all he wants. <laughs> so anyway, there's your old fashioned lye soap made out of lard, water, and sodium hydroxide, which is lye. I hope you enjoy.